This is a demonstration of the vintage record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those all the way down fully clockwise so the deck floats on its springs. Also remember to unclip the arm. The three main controls of the amplifier are on the front panel for volume, bass and treble and the mains power switches on and off automatically when the turntable stops and starts. On the deck you have the speed control here, stop start control here and size selection for 7, 10 or 12 inch on the right hand side. So you can load between 1 and 6 records, I'll demonstrate with 2 just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stacker arm across and flick the switch down to auto to start the auto changer. Flick to auto if you want to skip to the next record. So I'll demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. Off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the platter and with the stacker bar in the upright position you can flick the switch to auto and the arm will go across or you can select manual start and place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, if you lower the stacker arm down it knows to switch off when it reaches the end of the record. If you leave the stacker bar in the upright position it triggers the repeat function and the same record plays over again. So I hope that covers everything for you but if you do have any questions when you receive it I'll include my personal email addressing with the machine and please use that method to contact me.